13,000 votes, exactly. Trudeau called to say congratulations. It's 40 years worth of memories for Len Marchand and his wife Donna. In their Kamloops home, they pore over a scrapbook documenting Marchand's contribution to Canadian politics. There's my mother and dad. Len Marchand is a trailblazer, the first status Indian ever elected to Parliament. The 77-year-old former MP and senator is a role model for his people. I'm a human being. I'm an individual. I'm an Indian. And this will always be an Indian. Nothing will ever change that. Even long before stepping onto the political stage in 1968, Marchand worked for change. A member of the North American Indian Brotherhood in the late 1950s, he and a small group of natives lobbied for the right to vote. One of the very hurtful things in my life was uh, was not being able to vote. And I knew it was very hurtful to to a lot of my people not being able to not being able to vote. So, you know, regardless of which way I look at different things, uh, that still comes back to me as the you know, the major thing that that I did was so so important. Natives would finally get the chance to vote in nineteen sixty, but Marchand admits for the first time he cast his ballot illegally two years today. before. I voted in 58 and I felt, oh my God, what did I do, you know? And uh, if there were a controverted election uh, here, I voted illegally and I, oh boy, it really hurt. So never would I ever think of doing that again. We didn't win Salmon Arm, <laughs> but we won the other places. Perhaps his rebellious streak is what made him a formidable candidate in 1968. Pitted against longtime Kamloops MP Davy Fulton, Marchand didn't think he had much of a chance, but he decided to run anyway. There's no shame in losing to a guy like Davy Fulton, but you know, this is the great country and I you know we have the vote now and why shouldn't we why shouldn't we participate? Riding what he calls the wave of Trudeau mania, Marchand handily beat Fulton and became the first status Indian to be elected to Parliament. He would eventually go on to become the Minister of Environment as well as the Minister for Small Business. The fact that just about one out of two Canadians wants more tax dollars spent on fighting pollution and conserving our natural resources is a very significant find. Len Marchand says for better or for worse, he implemented the metric system in Canada and was the first politician to bring paper recycling to Parliament Hill. But it's the work he's done for his people that he's most proud of, persuading the federal government to begin land negotiation claims with native bands, as well as forming and chairing the Standing Senate Committee on Aboriginal Peoples. And one of the first things that we started to focus on was Aboriginal veterans. They got a, a payout, I think around $30,000. Some of them thanked me and well, I, it wasn't just me. We got we got work was done over them, but so we got that done. And we also got a a scholarship. Oh, it was one point two five million dollars at the time. Uh, um, a scholarship in the name of Aboriginal veterans. So that that is available now. One is Negro, and the other is an Indian. Huh? Marchand says natives have made huge strides in the past 40 years. There are now seven native MPs in Ottawa. His people are making progress in law, medicine, the arts, and the trades. But for Marchand, it's what's happening in his own backyard that fills him with pride. There are 2,200 plus of our Aboriginal or native students at True. And that just makes me so happy. Because when I went to Vernon High, I was the the only one at the time. I was the second one to ever go to Vernon High, second second Indian. And when I went to UBC, uh, oh, I guess I knew one other one other Native person. Of course, we wouldn't be where we are now if it wasn't for the help of others. Today is not only a special day for our graduates, but for all the people around us that have helped us become who we are today. Just this past week, Marchand's grandson was the co-valedictorian for his graduating class at Sahali Secondary. One of 166 Native students to graduate this year in Kamloops, Miles Marchand is now on his way to McGill University, where he plans to study medicine. Education is the key. I, I've preached that for so, 
for so long. uh, First made to feel like outcasts and second-class citizens, Len Marchand says natives are now living in a Canada that holds great promise for them, and he hopes that his work in Ottawa has helped further his people along. My people really were on our way and we're on our way like we have never been before.